and the birds are go. <laughs> One of your designs, Colin? No, it's an RBC kit. Uh, RBC kit. Uh, it's a uh, 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 90mm fan unit. Gives it plenty of power, as you can see. Running on 8 cell, in this case 4500s. And you can get them from where in this country? The New Sussex uh, Model Centre sells them. And this is a conventional built-up kit, it's not an ARTF? No, no, all built up from, uh, it's all laser cut or router cut, not the wick cut, but router cut parts. Comes with a canopy with other plastic parts. Plastic tip tank, glued together. So it's not a, not a beginner's model, not for building anyway. It's not a beginner's model for building, no, but it's, it's quite a fun model to build. Yep. Nice to fly by the look of it. Lovely. And because it's effectively a giant power glider, the flight time is typically five, five and a half minutes. Whereas normally a 19 EDF model is taking more about three, three and a half minutes. Yeah. Or even less. Yeah. What diameter fan again, sorry? 90mm. Basically it's a 2 metre span model, or 1.99 1, metres. Wings come off, just a single screw to hold them on. I've just got small electric retracts that fit in the uh, nose and the sub wing. It's tip sharp well, don't they, in the tail? Don't shark spray to the grey UK sky. Nah, that's the trouble, isn't it? And this would be uh, the rest it really does. Tim sold his, didn't he? I think Andy Pratt's got it now, hasn't he? I think so. Yeah. See, I just wanted the electric one, so Using a power box, uh, one of their IESC speed controllers, reads back the amount of current consumed, power consumed by the milliamps. So, that's good. Life is better, I can tell you. Typically, that would be about 3,500 milliamps used. So, what's that, like 50%, 70% of the pack? It's 70% of the pack. I've got some 4,000, 4, 5, and 5,000 milliamp packs. So I'm going to land now, I've got three minutes of power. 